Mr. Minute. Chairman. I just want to make sure you're awake down there, Mr. Hack. All over it, Mike. Right, Thank you, sir. Director Brennan, thanks for being here. I, I want to freely confess to you that there's an element to this Russian investigation with which I've struggled, and it is this. How do I explain why this should matter and why people should care? What words do I use to explain this to folks who have a lot of other things on their mind, things like their kids, like keeping their job, like managing their debt, like caring for an elderly parent? Why should people care that the Russians hacked into our computers and then selectively disclose that information with the express purpose of swaying an election? Why should they care that the Russians are doing this in other Western democracies and will continue to do so, by the way, at minimal investment? That's the precise question that I actually put to then Director Comey and Admiral Rogers when they were with us in March. I now pose it to you, sir. So not for my sake, but for America's sake, as someone who has devoted your entire life to public service, in your own words, please tell my constituents, my neighbors, why they should care, not just here in Washington, D.C., but in Washington State and Texas and Connecticut and points in between. Why should they care? Why do you care, sir? <clears throat> because for the last 241 years, this, this nation and its citizens have cherish the freedom and liberty that this country was founded upon. Many, many Americans, brave Americans over the years, have lost their lives to be able to protect that freedom and liberty. They've lost their lives also to protect the, the freedom and liberties of other countries and other peoples around the world. Uh, our ability to choose our elected leaders as we see fit is, I believe, an inalienable right that we must protect with all of our resources and all of our authority and power. And the fact that the Russians uh, tried to influence that election so that the will of the American people was not going to be realized uh, by that election, I find outrageous and something that we need to, with every last ounce of devotion to this country, resist and to try to act to prevent further instances of that. And so, therefore, I believe that this is something that's critically important to every American. It's certainly, I, it's very important to me for my children and grandchildren to make sure that never again will a foreign country try to uh, influence and interfere in uh, the foundation stone of this country, which is uh, electing our democratic leaders. In other words, sir, because you love your country. That's the, uh, the Cliff Note version of it, yes. Well, I believe much is at stake here, including the following. Whether America, will, whether America will have elections that we can trust, that are continuing measures of self-determination free from foreign interference, whether we will smartly arm ourselves against any future such digital invasion, whether we are strong enough to make good on the promise to be a nation of rule by law, whether we will hold those accountable who seek to abrade our cherished institutions, whether we will stand up for democracy or enable this insidious autocracy and kleptocracy, much is at stake. No one should be misled, however, because this isn't just about Russia. This is about us and our metal. The famous American diplomat George Kennan said at the outset of the Cold War, much depends on the health and vigor of our own society. And indeed it does. We're being tested. We're divided. We've gone to our respective corners and claimed our own set of facts. Anger has become the currency of our civic discourse. Reason has been replaced with decibel level. But you know what? People also yearn for a reaffirmation of the value of narrative of America, which is the very thing that makes us great. That's what I hear when I'm home, whether I'm playing cards with my buddies or out to a movie with my wife, Paula, or having coffee in the narthex of church. And do you know why? Do you know why Americans yearn for this? It's because it's what makes, us, makes it possible for us to be for something bigger than ourselves. And that is precisely what America is hoping, if not counting on us on this dais to do, to be for something bigger for ourselves and to put our country above party. And I pray that that's what we'll do. 
Thank you, sir, for your decades of service and for your presence here today. Thank you. Chairman's time has expired. Uh, Mr. Crawford, five minutes.